I feel a type of way Yeah, I don't know about the real side of the story Can't live if it is what it is If I lose it right now <laughs> Oi galera, tudo bem? Now, today, I knew this. Today, we are going to be doing another little bit of a talking video. Um, I'm trying to do more of these videos because I really enjoy doing these videos so freaking much. Today, I'm going to talk about quite a serious, not really, it's not serious at all, really. Uh, basically, saying, would I ever actually genuinely move from England to Brazil and live in Brazil forever. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is a quite a, um, a big question. Would I ever actually live in Brazil? Now, if you're subscribed to me, you will know that I've been reacting to Brazil for about a year actually now. It's just under a year. I think it must be about 10 months or 11 months. Uh, we've been reacting to Brazil and obviously it's not just in those 10 to 11 months is when I've loved Brazil Obviously, I've always had a passion for Brazil. I've always loved Brazil Otherwise, I would have never started my channel about Brazil in the first place Even though at the very very start of my channel, it wasn't about Brazil, but I've already explained why um, And why it changed to Brazil I explained that many many times, but uh, yeah would I ever actually move to Brazil? Now, you guys know that I absolutely love Brazil. Eu adoro Brasil. Obviously, Brazil has some of the most beautiful places on Earth. We've got, as you guys know, one of my favorite places in Brazil that I've seen so far is the Agui... Ah, shoot. How do I say it? Aguiz... The Agui... Aguizia... Shit. Agia Zua Fools. The Fools. I'll pro it's probably on screen right now, you know. That that place. It's really, really nice. And, uh, yeah, obviously, everybody wants to see Christ the Redeemer. Obviously, that's a beautiful place in Brazil that every single person of the Gringo Land wants to go to. But, obviously, I want to go see that as well. Get a little picture, say, hi, buddy, and take a picture, and then go. Um, but, obviously, there's many, many places to Brazil that most Gringos do not know about and that I now do. Do know about um, one of the cities I really 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 want to go to is Sao Luis because this city really 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 shocked me when I seen it bro like it was a really shocking city uh, in a good way like um, it was very very interesting and there was things about it that I did just not believe man and obviously the, the south of Brazil is a place where most gringos don't even know about like they they, they don't know the the culture and how the south of Brazil is obviously the, the south of Brazil is very uh Europeanified, and I really want to see that in Brazil because it would be so interesting. Because as I say all the time, Brazil it literally is a country, <laughs> and it's literally a country with countries inside of it, bro. Like there's so many different parts of Brazil that is so different to other parts. Like parts in the north are so so different to parts in the south, and it, it is crazy. And that's why I want to experience it, bro. Because Brazil, as I say, it's the most diverse country on the planet. There's no country that I have seen personally that is more diverse than Brazil. Nowhere. No, Brazil is so diverse. It's actually almost, it is mind blowing. It is mind blowing. Now, I think a big question is would MC Alfredo ever actually come and live in Brazil? Big question. Big, big question. I mil deus. Now, obviously, obviously, my my dream and my goal, and it will happen, and I think it will probably happen pretty soon. Uh, is to come to Brazil is to come to Brazil experience Brazil experience as much as I can and yeah It is an absolute dream and a goal and that is the whole Journey of this channel to come to Brazil and film the videos in Brazil and experience the things that I've been reacting to for almost a year and actually see it in real life and experience for myself and see if the things I was reacting to are just as amazing as they actually are and I'm sure they will be probably even better than I expected everyone who says they've gone to Brazil it's the best time of their lives they want to go back all the time but would I live in Brazil now that is a that is a big thing, okay? That is a really, really big thing. Obviously, all my family lives in England. Every single family member lives in England. And 
if I was to move to Brazil, my mum would probably want to move to wherever I moved to. And honestly, being realistically speaking, I don't think my mum would move to Brazil because she wouldn't want to leave my nan, my granddad. She wouldn't want to leave these people because they're, they, they're, they're too old, okay? They're not going to move, okay? They're staying here. They're too old. Like, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> but does that stop me to say I can't live in Brazil? No. No, 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 no. Uh, but obviously... I feel like if I went to Brazil, I wouldn't say I would, like, live there, but I, I, would, I would, like, half live in Brazil and I'd half live in England. Like, I think that's what uh, Tim Explica does. Um, I don't think he fully lives in Brazil. He, like, lives in Brazil for, like, half the year and the USA for the other half. I could be wrong. I don't know. But I know he recently just left Brazil and went back to uh, the USA. Uh, but, yeah, for sure, I wouldn't live in Brazil... Um, all year every year because i have family in england like i would have to come back to england i would what i'd probably do i'd probably do for six months in brazil six months in england and just every six months i would change and uh that'd probably be quite crazy changing country every six months probably be crazy but uh you know i am crazy i'm a muito local boy but will i ever come to brazil this question is a hundred percent certain Yes, I am going to come to Brazil no matter what nothing will stop me. Okay, and I want it to happen as soon as possible But I don't know how soon it will happen. Uh, but yeah, I will come to Brazil. Obviously Obviously, I'm gonna come to Brazil when how long uh, That's a different question. It literally could be in less than a year. It could be in two years, but realistically speaking I don't really want to go there when the pandemic is still being a bitch. So, I don't know. I probably will wait till the pandemic, um, like, chills down. But I don't know. Like, because I I don't actually know how the, the pandemic is in Brazil. I, I'm, I think it's, sadly, it's pretty bad. Pray and pray for all of you. But, uh, yeah. I, I, I just don't know how I would feel going to a country while this is all going on. I feel, I just feel like it, I don't know. I probably will wait. And and, and I feel like I'm not going to be allowed, you're not really allowed to tra travel out of the UK now anyway. You're not allowed, I'm not actually physically allowed right now because, yeah, you're not allowed to travel out of the UK. And uh, I haven't been vaccinated yet either. And I'm pretty sure soon you're not allowed to leave the UK unless you've been vaccinated. And I haven't been vaccinated because they haven't, they're just being annoying. Boris Johnson? Where are? But yeah, realistically right now, I won't be coming to Brazil for at least for, well, until this all clears up because it's just not, it's just not, I just, I just don't know how I feel about that. Um, I know obviously gringos are going to Brazil, but anyway, right now I'm not even allowed. You're not even allowed to leave the UK, so I couldn't even do it if I wanted to. But uh, yeah, I will definitely come to Brazil as soon as I can, hopefully next year. Hopefully next year and I'm being serious. I would really love to come to Brazil next year I on like being realistic. I don't think it would be this year. I don't think it would be this year. It's too soon And I don't know if the pandemic will be gone by a year. So that's sad But yeah, I've made so many friends with Brazilians like Brazilians I work with daily like my subtitle team you you guys the subtitles you're probably using now are made by my subtitle team they are not auto youtube generated they're not auto generated people actually sit there and type these and uh, yeah they're all brazilian obviously because they speak portuguese and english and uh, yeah i speak with brazilians every single day and i honestly love it it's so it's, i don't know brazilians just have this really cool vibe that I just see in Brazilian people, but I don't feel with British people. And yeah, Brazilians are just so, so fun. Always joking around, always making jokes, always smiling, always crazy. <laughs> and yeah, I feel like that's why I fit in with the Brazilian crowd so well, because I am a, I'm a happy, crazy person. Like I, I always wanna just make people happy. I always just wanna spread the vibes, you know? And maybe I'm Brazilian, I don't know. But this country, I freaking love this country. Eu adoro Brazil. Brazil! I freaking love Brazil, man. I freaking love it. I'm gonna wear this as a cape, bro. I freaking love Brazil. Oh, this feels like I'm at the World Cup. I knew Dios. My camera, my camera's probably out of focus, but look at me, bro. Oh, look at that. That is sexy. That, I am gustoso. 
Gustozo boy. But yeah, I'm coming to Brazil. Don't you worry. I'm coming to Brazil as soon as I can. I'm gonna. I would love to live in Brazil, but obviously I won't. I probably won't live there like fully because, as I said, I've got people here. I would probably do half and half every year. So basically, live in Brazil. But uh, yeah, can't wait. Can't wait to experience to experience this country. And uh, yeah, Brazil, baby.